our project for the Bushfire Natural Hazards CRC is about natural disasters scenarios. So we have our emergency planners in our end user agencies and they're often faced with asking what if questions. So what we're coming up with is some logical scenarios which question those threshold boundaries, those boundaries which emergency management capability may be exceeded at. So with some of the scenarios that we're looking at in terms of what if is an earthquake under Adelaide, that's one we presented this morning. We're also doing a tropical cyclone on the Queensland coast. And these type of scenarios are those that would cross administrative boundaries, look at different issues that might arise across different ad administrative boundaries, different states, and look at not only just the hazard itself and its, and its impact, but look at the underlying vulnerability. We can look at things like uh, damage to infrastructure, the indirect uh, consequences of, of natural disasters as well, and things like loss of life and injuries such that when uh, planners are actually doing planning, they can do that planning based upon more realistic assumptions uh, at the end of the day. So we're looking for uh, interesting feedback on our project for end users about what they think uh, disaster scenarios can cover and how it can inform capability planning, community engagement and ultimately emergency planning so our communities can be safer. As an end user from an emergency management sector, um, the, the real outcomes from these projects uh, is filling in gaps in, our, in knowledge and, and primarily, I'd say, uh, planning for uh, emergencies. Um, the, the projects are going to deliver outputs across a range of perils, you know, flood, storm, tsunami, some fires, earthquakes, so it's going to be applicable to a range of end users over time. And I suppose one of the things I see is that it's, uh, it's a proof of concept um, for scenario modelling for large-scale events for different hazards. There's a range of assumptions that they're going to test and a range of data that they are going to output. Um, and so it's a proof of concept of how that data can be used by others.